to a really a red hot debate about cell phone radiation and whether or not it could possibly cause cancer. Boy, this has been a talk about for yeah. sure. Regulators say we probably have nothing to worry about because cell phones only emit small amounts of radio frequency radiation or RFRs, but others are not so sure. Yeah, now there is a new study on animals that shows there could be some cause for concern. Dr. Parthenandi tells us researchers have found that exposing male rats to high amounts of RFRs resulted in tumors around their heart tissue. Dr. Nandy, tell us more. So Joanne, you know these rats were exposed to very high amounts of radiation, up to four times more than people get from using cell phones, and they were exposed for years, not minutes. After the equivalent of 70 human years of exposure, some of the male rats had unusual tumors. Interestingly, the female rats didn't show any tumors at all. And so we need more research to understand what is going on there. Still, anytime anyone hears this. So, yeah. so does this mean the cell phones are dangerous for people or we really don't have anything to worry about? What do you think? So, Carol, I don't think we can really say that it's dangerous. The American Cancer Society says that while the study might create some public concern, the evidence for an association between cell phones and cancer is still weak. Now, when someone asked the author of the study about cancer at a recent press conference, he said that he and his family have not altered the way they use cell phones. So I don't think there's uh, a reason to panic. Quite yet. All right, a lot of people, though, hearing this still don't like to hold that phone up to their head, and I assume maybe that's part of your prescriptions, Dr. Absolutely, and, I, and I'm one of those people, yeah. too. So my prescription that follows, keep your uh, antenna or your phone away from your head while talking on your cell phone. Use a hands-free device or a speakerphone instead uh, if you can. Also, don't walk around with your phone in your pocket all day. A lot of people do that. Keep it in your person only when you need it. Also, if possible, text instead of talking on your phone because the RFRs, the stuff we're worried about, are much lower. And always keep your phone at least two to three feet away while sleeping and never keep it in your bed. Mm. And I'd like you to stay with me on 7 Action News at 5 when I talk about Kratom. Is it a dangerous opioid or a harmless herbal supplement? I'll tell you that. All right, Dr. Nandy, we'll be watching for your report coming up on Action News at 5. Thank you much, as always.